if we hand it off to an administra another administration and expect changes in foreign policy over the ruling again, that precisely is what uh, weakens it over time. No? The fact yung that we bago keep bago mismo changing keeps positions. Ah, yeah. Because unlike, the, yeah, unlike China, which has always kept to the same line 20 years ago to today, no? that is, and they keep pushing it and implementing it. If the Philippines keeps dancing around it, essentially, then we are the ones who are adjusting. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and we pay a price not we just with China, price. but even to the international community. Yes. Na ang gulo -gulo nyo. Yes, and it's not just us. Uh, we are just at the forefront because the ruling is in our favor. It is, yes. it is our case. Uh -huh. no? But uh, the, the other countries as well will basically uh, suffer the, our, from our mistake. Well, we really have to change you know, the way we do foreign policy, especially with respect to the South China Sea. We cannot allow it to keep on swinging like a pendulum as it has. Uh, we really have to set a clear vision in a long-term uh, strategy to protect uh, what we have in the South China Sea how is that or in set? the West Philippines. I mean, how is that set? I mean, pure legislation? Because obviously, yeah. if you leave it to mm -hmm. uh, six-year term foreign policies of changing yeah. administrations, and mm -hmm. politics here tends to swing to extremes at, with every election, mm -hmm. how is that set? Uh, uh, legislation? Do we well, have to tamper with the Constitution? No, no. Um, I think legislation will have to establish certain basic uh, parameters. A foreign policy uh, must be clear. No, the the basic foreign policy must also be clear. There shouldn't be so many uh, changes with every personality, with every administration. That has to be clear. But there also should be a national uh, consciousness of this vision, of this strategy over the long term. That's really the only way you'll be able to keep this going.